especially coming out of the military, it's really easy to be an asshole to people. Yeah. You know, military, we kind of expect that everybody's going to be an asshole to you. Yeah. But I mean, you're doing like a, right. you're doing something that not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people would tell you, this is what you need to yeah. buy. This is what you yeah. need to get. This is how you do it. You explain this whole process and you even gave them a couple of fittings for yeah. it. And a lot of times that's what it is. Cause like you can help people sometimes and just tell them what they need to do. Cause everybody nowadays is hands on. A lot of people want to do everything themselves. I mean, it's, it's like anybody else. Hey, if I can fix this myself, I'd rather fix it myself than pay somebody to come out and do it. You know, and with Google and everything nowadays, there's pretty much nothing you can't Google and it's going to not going to well, give you a step-by-step process. That guy was like freaking 80 years yeah, old. Yeah, he was. I mean, I he was, know. he was old, but, and sometimes, but you know, you can, you can give somebody that kind of information. You can tell them, Hey, look, this is all you need to do and you can fix it. And they might go out and fix it and they go, oh, okay, well, I ain't got to pay this guy. But then something really major breaks or something they can't figure out and they're going to remember you and they're going to call you. Yeah. So, you know, like in a situation like that, I w- we were next door. It was the neighbor. Mm-hmm. You know, we were looking at theirs and he asked a simple question and I was like, oh, yeah, this is all you got to do. You know, go get this. And I think I did give him a couple fittings out of the trailer yeah, you do. and go and I told him, hey, this is all you got to do right here, you know. And if it would, and I even told him, Hey, if it turns out you can't handle it, give me a call. Yeah. You know? And I think I ended up did going back. I went back to his house a couple months later because he had a whole separate problem with something else. Well, they also had the, the plumbing kind of screwed up. Yeah. And hit, well, he had one of those systems that was kind of thrown in by somebody who kind of sort of somewhat knew how to do irrigation. And you see that a lot, Yeah, you know, cause I mean, irrigation is really simple in a, in a manner but there's a lot of a lot of things that go into it you know that you have to take in consideration for like pipe size and everything like that and and how many components you can have in one system in one zone before it's not going to work properly and a lot of people don't know that they just go okay we're going to put this many heads in this one zone and it'll work yeah and it it doesn't i mean it might work but it's not going to work properly and it's not going to work forever like that cuz you're going to wear things out well, that's where so, a lot of math comes in, right? Yeah, because yeah, you have yeah. to you have to look into how that what strength PVC it is and yeah. the diameter it yep. is, yep, um, and the flow that comes yeah. into it. I mean, you were kind of explaining all this. Yeah, there's a, you, there's a, there's a lot of math involved in irrigation. We call it hydraulics, you yeah, know, because you got to know how much each size PVC is only going to flow so much water before you start running into problems. And so when you start flowing so much water, you got to increase your size of PVC mm-hmm. and things like that. And, you know, cause you have the water creates friction on the pipe. It's going to slow the water down moving. You know, there's all kinds of little things like that. There's a lot of math involved in irrigation. So, and a lot of it has to do with how much water you can flow and at what pressure. How, how hard do you think that math is? I like, mean, a lot of it is really basic math. I mean, it's, you know, there's some fractions and stuff like that, but it's really just, Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and some fractions. Just a so it's not a deterrent to anybody. I mean, no, I mean if you if you can do like elementary math, I mean middle school kind of math. Yeah, you know, I mean you don't. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at math. I'm decent at math, but I was no genius in school. Yeah, and <laughs> I have no. Yeah, yeah. You know, if my recruiter <laughs> if my recruiter saw this, I always think about when I told when I seen him and I told him I was getting out, and he was like, ah. And I was gonna. That was my plan was to get out and go to school. And he was like, I seen you in school, remember? And I was like, yeah, it's different now, but you know, yeah. I mean, if you can like fundamental math is really all it is. You know, it's learning how to. You know, there's a little bit of ratios, there's a little bit of fractions, and really just addition, subtraction, multiplication, and that's it. You know, you're not getting into, you know, there, you know, might be a little bit of geometry involved in like doing some of the technical stuff, but it's still real basic stuff. You don't have to be a math genius to do it. You know, 